Hey guys, this is a little bonus video. Some interesting news that the Mail Online are claiming as an exclusive. So Cleo Smith, bombshell as brave four-year-old tells cops a woman brushed her hair and dressed her while she was allegedly held captive for 18 days in a doll-obsessed loner's derelict home as hunt begins for mystery accomplice. So little Cleo Smith told detectives that a mystery woman was also present in the house. Police are now scrambling to track down the unknown woman who dressed her. The four-year-old was found at her home in Carnarvon, West Australia, after 18 days missing. Local man Terence Darrell Kelly, 36, has been charged with kidnapping. Forensic investigators are continuing to scour the property, looking for evidence. A mystery woman is now central in the Cleo Smith case after the little girl revealed to investigators a female would come to the accused a kidnapper's home to look after her. The bombshell development came to light during delicate police interviews with the four-year-old who allegedly spent 18 days locked inside a house in Carnarvon. Local man Terence Darrell Kelly has been charged with kidnapping and remains in Perth jail as a team of elite detectives return to the remote town on Monday and hunt for more clues. Sources close to the investigation told Daily Mail Australia that Cleo had mentioned that a woman visited the Tonkin Crescent duplex during the time she was alleged held captive and helped care for her. It's understood Cleo said the woman helped to dress her and brush her hair. Cleo was found in the early hours of last Wednesday morning after being missing since October the 16th when she was abducted from her family's tent at the remote Blowholes campsite about 75 kilometres away. The preschooler was away and playing with toys when detectives brought down the door of the house just after 1.30am. Body cam footage shows the brave little girl being carried out of the Tonkin Crescent address with her hair clean and brushed and her pyjamas appeared freshly washed. Police had initially stated no other suspects were being sought in relation to the matter, alleging that Kelly acted alone. But with the landmark case appearing to be wrapped up, a team of detectives who helped track down Cleo have since raced back to Carnarvon from Perth as they probed the possibility another person was involved. The investigators are expected to remain in the small town for at least another week as forensic specialists continue to scour the, the home for evidence that another suspect might have been there. Yes. Detective Senior Sergeant Cameron Blaine, who was captured on police body cam, rescuing Cleo from her ordeal, has remained tight-lipped about the latest developments in the case, but said police have more work to do. Our focus this week is for us to ascertain whether there was anyone else involved. That's why we are still here, he said, after stepping off the plane. So we just ask if there was anyone who has contact with Mr Kelly, whether you saw him, whether you met him, whether you spoke with him on the phone during the relevant period, please make yourself known to police. Daily Mail Australia has reached out to West Australia Police for comment on the mystery woman. A spokesperson said investigators would not comment specifically on the major development, but added inquiries are continuing. Specialist child interview officers attached to the child abuse squad in Perth began the delicate task of sitting down with Cleo last Thursday. The process of uncovering what happened could take several weeks. For a sixth straight day, forensic officers have been combing through Kelly's house, gathering evidence for laboratory examination, which could indicate the presence of another person. Trailer loads of evidence has been bagged and removed from the alleged abductor's property during that time with the top to bottom search of the roped off commission house likely to go on for several weeks as prosecutors build the case against Kelly. Since his arrest, it's been revealed he has an obsession with dolls, boasting about his love for girls toys on various social media pages. One photograph he posted showed brats and Disney princess dolls stacked from floor to ceiling. It comes as audio emerged of an Aboriginal elder who raised Kelly, calling him for a gift from God and a beautiful little boy. Respected Gascoigne elder Penny Walker revealed how Kelly, now 36, was thrown away by his drug addict biological mother. She handed him over to Auntie Penny, who had six of her own children, taken into care because of an alcohol problem when she was younger. 
I looked down at him and this little boy, God was giving me something back into my life, what the welfare took off me, my children, said Miss Walker, who died in 2020. His mum didn't want him and she threw him away. Kelly lived alone at Miss Walker's dilapidated home after her death last year at the age of 77. The tapes reveal he was brought up with Miss Walker's two grandsons after her daughter died from multiple sclerosis. God was giving my children back to me in a different way. So I have this little boy, beautiful little boy, Terry, she said, two years old, jet black, curly hair. Kelly's early upbringing has been revealed in snippets of oral history archives in an interview she gave in May 2019 from the State Library of Western Australia. She had her own troubled early life as part of the Stolen Generation and spent her childhood at the Moor River Native Settlement and New Morsia Mission. Miss Walker suffered SA and floggings, she said, and later slept in toilets as an adult while enduring domestic abuse. Authorities put her on a bus to Carnarvon, a thousand kilometres north of Perth, and said in tapes, I never look back. After her own problems with drink, six children being taken by the state, she turned her life around and became a respected member of the community. And they've got this recording. Terence Kelly's grandmother tells how she took him as a boy. So it says grandmother here. So I don't know whether this Penny person was his grandmother or whether this is someone else talking. I'm not sure. But let's play it. I read three boys that my daughter passed away with MS. A little boy, his mum didn't want him and she threw him away and she said, well, you want a little boy to look after? Auntie Penny, I looked at Snubby. He was drunk and he started crying. Very soft that he is. And he, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll take him. I looked at him and this little boy, um, God was giving me something back into my life, what the welfare took off me, my children. And God was giving my grandchildren back to me in a different way. Yeah. So I had this little boy, beautiful little boy, Terry, a two-year-old, jet black, curly hair. That's interesting. So I'm not sure whether he was raised by his grandmother or by someone else anyway um i guess it stands to reason it's always going to stand to reason that such a troubled person would have you know the stories of a traumatic early life but uh clearly obviously that's no excuse so we'll await more information on this mystery woman on this mystery clump place is cleo confused is she has she really been cared for by this mystery woman who is this person time will tell time will tell but at least west west australian police are absolutely on it they are on it so um i think we'll get some answers in this case that's it i've been michelle hope you're well see you in the next video bye guys